Hey guys, today we're going to be solving lead code question 714 best time to buy and sell stock with transaction fee. The solution is very similar to the stocks question uh, with the cool down constraint. It's a dynamic programming uh, question, but um, it's a very easy and very intuitive and easy to understand dynamic programming solution. It's uh, so basically we'll maintain two variables one variable to track the maximum profit that we can we can gain until day i keeping no stocks in hand and one more variable to store the maximum profit that you can make if you have one stock in hand on day i so ideally we would create a one day array uh, for both of these like one one day array to store the maximum profit that you can make on day i um, with zero stocks in hand and one more one day array to uh, track the maximum profit that you can make with one stock in hand on day i uh, but with this problem we don't need really we don't really need to uh, store the entire one day array we can only store two variables because we just need the previous value um, of these variables uh, because think about it, we only need the maximum profit that has been made until now and uh, our loop will terminate when we have processed all the prices. So the final value of these variables will be the values that we want. It's um, it's a very intuitive solution. It's um, I, I, I'll be able to, I mean, you'll get a better understanding of it as we code. So I'm just going to start coding. Uh, cool. Just putting in uh, empty array check. Actually, it should be greater than one, right? Um, because uh, you can't make any profit if there are only one a zero or one even if there's only one price you can't really make a profit you can only buy the stock you can't really sell the stock okay uh, let's talk about the constraint that this problem has so basically what, uh, what they're saying is if you complete a transaction you have to pay a fee now uh, one thing to understand in this problem is you don't have to pay a fee if you just buy a stock a completed transaction is when you buy and you sell the stock so you'll have to pay a fee when you are actually selling the stock uh, so that is one thing that we need to keep in mind cool let's so as i said we'll have two variables the max this will store the max profit until now with zeros stocks in hand and this will store the maximum profit that we can make until day i with one stop in hand with one stop in hand okay why did i uh, make this minus prices so high because initially uh, these variables uh, represent the maximum profit until day zero like the first day in our prices array so and if you buy a stock it it impacts your ma uh, overall profit negatively because you're spending money in buying something. That's why if you have one stock in hand on day zero, it means you bought a stock. So you have to subtract the stock price on day zero. That's why minus price is a five. Cool. Now, let's iterate the prices array. So no stocks will be the maximum of, okay, so the, what is the maximum profit that you can make on day I, um, given a previous situation, uh, what is the maximum profit you can make on day I with zero stocks in hand, given a previous situation, uh, given the previous day's max profit with zero stocks in hand and one stock in hand. So if you have no stocks in hand on day I, meaning the current day that we are processing, it means that we have to take the maximum of 
two cases either we did not buy a stock today either so it continues being the no stocks variable value of the last of the previous day or we had one stock on the previous day and we sold today so we'll add so selling will selling will add to the profit right so we will add the stock price on day on today that is day i but this is where we have to since we complete since we are completing a transaction here we have to subtract the fee so this is where we are respecting the fee constraint cool so let me yeah cool. so and if i have one stock in hand on day i it means either i did not I had one stock in hand on the previous day and I did nothing today. So that's case one. Or I had no stocks on the previous day. Should be no stocks. And I bought a stock today. Right. So I had no stocks uh, yesterday, but today I bought a stock. So that will impact my overall profit negatively because I spent money in buying a stock. So I'll subtract that value. And I have not completed a transaction, so we will not have to introduce the fee variable anywhere in this equation. Cool. And finally, we just have to return. We have to return a value. Uh, we have to return no stocks of the last day. So after we have iterated, we have uh, processed the entire array, the variables, no stock uh, and uh, one stock will have the maximum profit that we can make until the last day uh, with um, zero stocks in hand and one stock in hand respectively and we have to uh, return the result assuming that all transactions have completed so that basically indicate uh, means that no stocks is the final result because it has it means that if we have zero stocks in hand on the last day it means that we have completed all transactions and yeah that's the result we are looking for so very short elegant nice dynamic programming solution uh, let's see if it works. Okay. Oh, sorry. One stock. Typo. Okay. Wow, it's only faster than 7.41. I wonder why it's that slow. Uh, I'm going to submit this again. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Uh, anyway, yeah, so this is the solution. It's faster than 88.89 percent on order and solution because uh, where n is the size of the prices array because we're just iterating the prices array once. Very low, like, like order one space complexity. Cool, guys. Good luck. Have fun. Don't like, share, subscribe. Uh, I would rather have you just close this tab and get on lead code. Thank you, guys. Good luck. Bye.